They take care of our machines, irons, phones, and toasters, MP3s and TV screens, even roller coasters. Without them, clocks stop ticking. Without them, lights go out. But if you need a fixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you need a fixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you need a fixie, please don't let their secret out. The baby doll. Tula, you gotta get out. We can't all fit in here. This time we'll take a ride, and next time you can. And I'm by myself again. Hey, don't worry. I'm gonna be getting such a cool car later today, Tula. Will it be a big one? It'll be big enough for all of you. Tom Thomas. Here, your toy came, just like you wanted. Awesome! Wait, what is this? A baby doll? Uh, uh. Splendid! Mom, where's the car? Oh, it's gotta be some mistake. I'll find out for you. I'm calling them. Good to be a kid. People take care of you, feed you, buy you toys, and read you bedtime stories. But in return, you have to listen to adults. Go to preschool, then school, and always remember to put on a hat. All kids dream about being a parent, at least for a little while. Because moms, they're just superhuman. Human moms can do laundry, cook meals, iron clothes, and check their kids' homework all at once. Fixie moms can fix irons and hair dryers and can teach young Fixies how they can do it. It's a shame that you can't become a parent before you grow up, but you can have fun pretending to be one. That's why girls like to play with dolls. Boys usually don't like it, but I don't see why. Dads can be really cool, too. What am I supposed to do with this now? I'm not some kind of girl who plays with dolls. <laughs> Hey there, come on now. That baby doll's a real cutie. Why don't you put it down and we can get back to racing? Wait, wait! The baby's hungry. He needs to eat. Tom Thomas, help me! No, I won't. Won't you please? He's crying, don't you hear? Ma -ma. Oh. Mama! <laughs> That's all? after that boy. But what if something terrible has happened? My dolly's eyes were shiny. Toes and fingers tiny. He never acted whiny. I love my dolly so. Now my life is gloomy. How this happened to me? I can't find my cutie. My dolly's gone, oh no. Oh no. Honey, don't be upset about the car. It's gonna get here soon. By the 
the way, why did you put the doll in the cupboard? It was so hard to find. But is it still home? It's in the box over there. It's got to go back to the store. My poor dolly's gone. Ma, ma. My dolly! We're supposed to send him back today. Oh. Only I told Mom that I'd rather keep him. Hey, and what about your big new race car? Later. Did you do all this for me? You know... Papa! Whoa! Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. <laughs> the heart. Where's my packet? It's not here either. I think my head's got a screw loose. Oh! Tom Thomas! Why are you throwing your stuff around? Oh. Because I got a real problem. What is it? I can't decide which club I should pick. Johnny signed up for robotics, and Katya's gonna be in chess. You call that a problem? Go with Johnny. And why not Katya? Uh, uh, uh. Then go with chess. But they don't have robots. My mom told me I should listen to my heart. Do you know how to do that? <laughs> I found it! See you. Gotta go. Nolik. Simka can tell you. She knows everything. The heart is the main pump of a living organism. It's a unique muscular organ with a multitude of blood vessels attached to it. The main function of the heart is to continuously move blood throughout the body. The human heart pumps about six liters of blood every minute, even though this pump is not that large. Make a fist. Your heart is about the same size as that. To make sure your heart stays healthy, you need to strengthen it with plenty of exercise and a healthy diet. Nolik, please come help me. Why me? Tool is stronger. Huh? Interesting. And do you know what is meant by the word heartlessness? Well, I think it's, uh, some kind of human illness. May I? Tula. Heartlessness is when a human or a fixie leaves someone who has a problem behind. Uh, uh, huh? I... Uh, uh, uh. <sighs> Thank you very much, young man. Uh, I mean, young fixie. Heartlessness, does it last forever? Of course not. We just need to help one another more often. Uh-huh. Uh, uh. Ah! Tom Thomas, my friend! Here I am. How are you? How am I? Why do you care? Oh, by the way, I found out how you can listen to your heart. You need this tube. It's called, uh... Stethoscope? A stethoscope, but I don't have one. That's what I'm for. <laughs> the thing is way too tiny. Hmm. Ah, your mom must have one. Oh, yeah. Well? It's beating. Loudly. And what is it saying to you? Not a word. And now? It's beating. Huh? What was that? <laughs> this is just absurd. A heart can't talk. You know what? Why don't you just try again? Chess. Who cares about chess? Robots are way cooler. This voice reminds me of someone. Heh, <laughs> so that's what you look like, my itty bitty heart. Well, I did it from the bottom of my heart. When a human is at rest, his heart beats between 60 and 100 times per minute. This rhythm is called the pulse rate. Place two fingers on your wrist or your neck. Can you hear it? Boom, boom, boom. 
boom, boom. You can count the beats. When you're sleeping, your pulse slows down. But when you get excited, run, or get worried or afraid, your heart begins to beat faster and pumps the blood harder. Sometimes it feels like it's beating so fast that people say, oh, my heart is going to jump out of my chest. But don't be afraid, it's not going anywhere. And when people say, listen to your heart, they don't mean that your heart can talk. It means that you should trust yourself and listen to your feelings. And then you'll definitely find the answer you're looking for. Looks like at the end of the day, I'm heartless. I couldn't help my friend at all. No, Lick, but you helped. You really did. I finally figured out which club I want to join. Robotics, like I told you? Not that. I want to learn medicine. Glue. <laughs> no, like, let's split up. <laughs> We're one cool team, am I right? Nah. Why not? We're the mega super duper coolest team on the planet. What do you say we do everything together and never ever fight with each other? All right. Children, if you look right here, you can see that the handle has broken off the professor's favorite mug. And it's our duty to fix it by gluing it back on. <laughs> here they are, the inseparable friends. <laughs> yes, quiet down. Since the two of you were late today, why don't you go fly over to the warehouse for us and get the glue? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> they crack me up. <laughs> Is there any glue left in there? <laughs> Nolik, try jumping on the tube a little. I, 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 I. Uh -huh. Great, there's plenty. Our super duper team has done some super excellent work. What's going on? Our hands are stuck. We gotta pull. Aye, <laughs> aye, this glue is sticky. With the help of glue, you can stick almost anything together. Paper, plastic, glass, rubber, wood, and even metal. The reason that glue works is because everything, even an ordinary sheet of paper, has a rough surface. Just look at those pits and ridges. If we take two sheets of paper, fill those pits with glue, and press them together, the molecules of the glue will start joining with one another. After that, all that's left is for the glue to dry. Now what? <laughs> how about we fly like this? <laughs> Good idea. Everyone will laugh at how funny we are. <sighs> Heads up, everybody! <gasps> Mission complete! Well done. Take your places. And put your hands on your desk. We can't do that. We got glued together. <laughs> it's all right. Come on over here. We don't want you to take our hands apart. We're sure this glue's going to make our friendship stronger, right? <laughs> you really think friendship can be measured like that? <laughs> Jump! One, two, three. Yeah! <laughs> Come on, I need to go over there. Well, I need to go over there. <laughs> it's your fault we got into this mess. Mine? And who was the one that told me to jump? Enough. I'm done with your nonsense. From now on, you're not my friend. And you're not mine, all right? Like many of the common substances people use, glue was invented by nature itself. For example, fish glue their eggs together, and mollusks produce a sticky liquid that lets them stick to any surface. 
A spider smears glue on its web. A swift uses saliva to bind its nest, while caterpillars use their saliva to spin their cocoons. The sap from a pine or a birch tree is glue, and an egg's sticky whites can be used as a base for glue. But today, most of the glues that people use are made in factories. When working with glue, it's important to air out the room from harmful fumes and to follow all other safety instructions. And try not to get glued to anything. It might be very hard to tear yourself away from it. Nolik, hang on! <laughs> How come we got unstuck? Maybe it was bad glue? No, we were trying to get you disattached for so long that the glue lost the adhesive properties it had. And our friendship? Did it also lose its properties? You know what, Nolik? I'm sorry. We don't need glue to make our friendship stronger. Peace. Peace. Oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> gotcha. The Pyramid. Thomas, can I open my eyes? Not yet. Hurry, will ya? That's it. I'm ready for the contest. Ta-da! Wait, that's a pastry! This is a pastry, Nolik. But this is an Egyptian pyramid. Oh, wow. Doesn't it look just like an anthill? Sure does. I remember when Grandpoos told us that inside of those is a labyrinth and a mummy of a sparrow. No, a pharaoh. <laughs> The Egyptian pyramids are simply amazing ancient structures. The biggest one of them is the Great Pyramid of Cheops. It's more than 4,000 years old and over 100 meters tall, like a 40-story building. How it was possible to build such a giant way back then is still a mystery. There were no hoisting cranes in those days. Some people believe that the pyramids were built by aliens, but I have a feeling that they couldn't have been built without the Fixies' help. So, is there a labyrinth in there? Of course. Show me. You joking? I just put it together for the contest. No way I'm going to break this apart. Hey, isn't that a way in? Where are you going? I'm just going to look at the labyrinth. And the mummy. Mummy, what are you talking about? Well, which way now? Stop, you'll get lost. I won't get lost. So, I think I'll go this way. And then this way. Come back, Nolik. I was already here. And I was here. Oh. 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 I did get lost. You were right. What? Hey there. Do you know where Nolik is? In there. He went mummy hunting. And he got lost. Mummy? Whoa. A real one? Class. Don't. Nolik. Yoo-hoo. Are you in here? No! Then where? Who knows? Who builds labyrinths like this anyway? Hey, nobody asked you to go in my labyrinth. Who are you talking to in there? Digit, Fire and Nolik are inside, and I need to go to school now. Nolik! Fire! Well, I, for one, have never gotten lost in a labyrinth because I know the rule for getting out. You need to always keep your hand on the wall. I can find them for you. Where are you guys? Over here. I forgot which of these walls I was touching with my hand. Did you find them? No, and I got myself completely lost in here. Tom Thomas, you've got school today, don't you? Yeah, I do. Only I got a pyramid full of fixies. <laughs> it's like an anthill. Mm -hmm. The first one wanted to go mummy hunting. The second one went looking for the first one. And the third for both. We're lost in here! And I've got school to get to. Wait, maybe you could just try to shake them out. Good idea! <laughs> I was joking. <laughs> you have string? Watch, this way you don't get lost. When you're going on a trip, think about how to keep from getting lost and how to find your way back. Don't just rely on maps and the GPS in your phone. Take a compass with you. It will show you the cardinal directions without needing phone service. 
You can also find north and south by looking at the sun, stars, or even an anthill in the woods. Take a good look. The slope that's gentler faces south, and the one that's steeper faces to the north. And if you find yourself walking through a labyrinth, don't get lost. Just walk with one hand always touching the wall, and eventually you'll get out. Another way to get through a labyrinth is to tie a rope at the entrance and unreel it along the way. Then you can follow its path back out. Here's the first one. And the second. And no look. Oh! Oh! Mommy, is it alive? It's me, Nolik! Uh. <laughs> but I couldn't find yours. That's because there's none in there. What? You mean I got lost in there for nothing? You were in such a hurry, you didn't listen to what I said. But without a mummy, how can you win? Oh, then maybe you could be my mummy. No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Well, did you win a prize? Uh-huh. My pyramid won. And here's a special extra prize for being the only one of us who knew how to get out of a labyrinth. Again? Another box of those pastries? That's fine with me. I really love them. They're awesome. I wish Fixies ate food. What a shame. Then I'll give some to your mommy. <laughs> the solar eclipse. All right. Here we go. Uh-huh. Tom Thomas! What's that for? There's a solar eclipse today. Look, and I'm gonna watch it. That's so cool! And what do you need the box for? Simka, did you forget? It's dangerous to look straight into the sun. Huh? It's so dark. How long until it starts to get dark? Half an hour. We'd be happy to help you out with that, wouldn't we? Only one thing I don't get. The light will be gone? Like, gone forever? <laughs> How did you come up with that? There have been plenty of eclipses before this one. In outer space, everything is in a state of constant movement. The Earth revolves around the Sun, and the Moon revolves around the Earth. Sometimes the Moon gets in between the Sun and the Earth and covers the Sun. And so, for a little while, the Sun no longer appears as a bright glowing sphere, but a simple black ball. <laughs> This phenomenon is called a solar eclipse. But a solar eclipse can only be seen by humans and fixies that are in its shadow while it's happening. But anything can happen. Like, what if something gets stuck? Then, would it stay dark forever? And when has that ever happened? It's happening now! Nolik, either help us out or stop bothering us. All right, look. This is the Earth, here, and the Moon, there. The flashlight's our sun. You see? The Moon's shadow falls on the Earth. And now watch. When the Moon starts to go, the light comes back. Did it get stuck? Just like I said, the end is near! The end of the light! It's just that someone should be more careful with the glue. It's possible to take an ordinary box and make a special device that was invented by people long ago. It's called a camera obscura. This clever invention was used by artists as well as scientists. It was the basis for the very first photo cameras. It's quite easy to make your own camera obscura. Cut out a small square on one side of a box, cover it with aluminum foil, and poke a little hole in the center of it. Put a sheet of paper on the opposite side. The light will pass through the hole and shine through the darkness. And on that screen, you'll see the eclipse, only it will appear upside down. To see it, you'll need to look at it from above, but make sure not to let extra light in. Beautiful. And remember to be careful with those scissors. But don't you understand that it's scary in the dark? And it's impossible to live in it! Don't be a coward. You glow in the dark. But what about Tom Thomas? Is he gonna have to walk like this? Ah! Uh. You'll be 
be able to light up the way for him. And if I run out of juice? I'll use my flashlight. And when the batteries run out? Relax, I'll find more. In the dark? No, we have to get prepared right now. Can you see the sun? Uh-huh. One minute left, you ready? A minute, what? Hold on, I'm not ready yet. I'll get charged a little more. No, I need to get those batteries. 10 seconds. Nine seconds. Eight seconds. What should I do? Six. What should I do? Five. Ah! Four. Three. Two. Marcia. Here it goes. Whoa. <gasps> it's totally beautiful. Nola, come on out. You'll miss everything. It's amazing. Class, it's so awesome that we did this. Look, look. Now the sun's coming back out. Show it to me. It really didn't get stuck. You mean the whole eclipse is done? It was cool, wasn't it? Uh-huh. Only I missed the whole thing. <sighs> well, you'll see the next one, right? If you don't get spooked again. You're not going to throw the box away, are you? I'll save it for you. I can use it to store something useful. Batteries, for instance. What if tomorrow's the end of the light and Nolik's not ready for it? <laughs> <laughs> the pencil. Well done, Tom Thomas. Your mom's birthday's today and you're still sleeping. Hey, what's that? It's a drawing, a portrait of his mom. In my opinion, this mom doesn't look very much like Tom Thomas's mom. Maybe he didn't get to finish the picture yet. He was tired and passed out. This is not good. We gotta do something. Ah, we can help him. The pencil's right here. A pencil has a lead inside. It's the lead that makes the drawing. Only lead doesn't grow on trees. It's made out of a mineral called graphite that's mined out of the Earth's crust. But how does the lead get inside a pencil? It's simple. Pencils are made with rods of lead and two wooden boards. Grooves are cut into the boards and the lead's placed in them. The heads are glued together and cut into pencils. The artist's tool is ready. This isn't gonna work. Oh, give me a place to stand, and I shall move the pencil through the air. Try and get it closer to the drawing. You gotta lift it up a little. You gotta push it harder. No, like, we're blockheads. Look, there's a pencil sharpener. A piece of lead. That's all we need. All right, let's check out how it was done by the old scores. By the great masters, like us. Yeah, she could use a little more hair. And a hat, too. Beautiful. And your sock has got to be in there. Yeah, let's keep drawing. Tom Thomas, are you still sleeping? Fixies? No need to thank us. Uh, where is my drawing? What have you done to it? If Mom sees this piece of art you created, she'll go and faint. I know it. From happiness, right? Fright's more like it. Does that look like my mom? Uh, well, then give it to your dad. If your dad won't faint, I know it. But it's my mom's birthday, not my dad's. You gotta be kidding me. There's also a famous painting like that. It's called the Black Square. It's a classic. You don't think she'll like it? People 
want to remember the highlights of their lives. And so they take photos of nature, of their families, of themselves, even of the food they eat. People have been doing this even before the invention of photography, by drawing. An artist might draw the sun, a river, some apple trees, and soon he's made a landscape. And if the apples aren't on trees, but on a plate next to a vase, cup, or basket, then a still life is what it's called. If a person's in the center, then it's called a portrait. And when artists make pictures of themselves, it's called a self-portrait. Of course, it's easier for us to take a quick photo of things we pass along the way. But just like the old masters, we put a piece of our souls into our drawings. And if you draw more often, you'll see it for yourself. I promise you that. Maybe you could just give her one of your older drawings. Maybe you should just erase the mess you made of this one. That could work. Ugh. Erasing's gotta be easier than drawing. Ugh. Whatever. There's no way you can make it worse. Ugh. Hey, I think I know a way you can fix it. You can use the eraser for drawing. A portrait. Uh, portraits don't seem to work out too well for us. But a still life drawing is a piece of cake. Super! Uh-huh. Pretty good, right? Tom Thomas! Everything's on the table for breakfast. Mom, happy birthday. I drew this present for you. Thank you, Tom Thomas. What a lovely still life. So unusual. I tried really hard. We'll hang it up on the wall. Now, let's go eat. What would Tom Thomas have done without us? Yeah. Whenever you get into a jam, your real friends will always show up to rescue you. Cut! Somebody please score that pencil for the kids. Please don't let their secret out. 